Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Jonu Smith. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers with the subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button, and I'll also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We're live almost every single night over on Twitch, so if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. Like I said, link down in the description. Before we hop into Janu stats, I do want to go over how you get the 92 overall Janu Smith, because EA did such a bad job at explaining how you go ahead and power up these cards, so all you have to do is if you're having problems trying to find this Janu Smith card, you're probably looking for the 92 Janu Smith in the auction house. When you should be looking for this 75 overall Johnny Smith with this like frozen ice block on his card art. So you're not going to find the 92 on the auction house. You're only going to find the 75. So once you buy the 75, I'm going to show you guys what you're going to do next. All right. So you're going to go to the store and you're going to find the zero chill tab in the store. And you're going to scroll over here and you're going to find the uh, hot cocoa collectible. You're going to buy this. Um, it's 12,000 snow. So it's not cheap. 12,000 snow is kind of expensive. I mean, you're going to go ahead and buy this. And once you have this collectible, um, now you're going to go back to the John Lee Smith card that's a 75 overall and you're going to go ahead and go to the upgrade section. All right, so now that we're back at John Lee Smith, all you're going to do now is go over to upgrades and you're going to go to item. You're going to click it, select item from binder, and then you're going to go ahead and put the hot cocoa right in there. And uh, now your John Lee Smith is unfrozen and now he's a 92 overall. All right, so here is John Lee Smith fully chemmed up. He's got 94 speed, 78 strength, 96 catching, 90 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 91 short, 89 mid with a 68 run block. And we are rocking full go deep and full sprinter on Janu today. And I mean, you guys see the stats and the main stat that pops out to you is that 94 speed. Janu Smith is the fastest tight end in the game. Um, on a Titans 25 out of 50, the card gets 95 speed at tight end, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, and it's not like the speed's the only good thing about this card. Um, he's 6'3", so he's not a bad height. Um, the card also has 96 catching, um, has 91 short, 89 mid, so does miss the mid route running threshold by one. But if we head down here to his uh, ball carrier stats and stuff like that, the card has a 90 juke move, so he hits the 90 juke move threshold, um, which is going to make the card even better after the catch. And he also has... 92 deep route running so he's hitting that deep route running threshold with go deep as well so and if you do run play fake he does hit that mid route running threshold by the way which will definitely help him out i can guarantee that'll definitely help him out but um yeah celebrity the abilities and john who's is a vertical threat tight end in the x factor slot we're rocking grab and smash in the first slot though um does get matchup nightmare 2 ap clutch short in elite um indoor baller homer short out and a second wind i'm um, in the second slot does add deep in uh mid in deep out so he actually does add his mid and out um which is actually really good i might should i try yeah i'm actually gonna i'm gonna throw mid out on him actually we're gonna put mid out on johnny today um that'll definitely help him on the corner routes and stuff like that and also the crosser routes as well so i'm gonna run mid out on johnny only one ap but i'm um, tight end apprentice is two ap we're rocking that in the third slot but he also does add red zone threat closer slot omatic four ap as well with reach for it and comeback so does have some really good abilities um you could just run matchup nightmare if you already have a field general qb with hot route master um because in my opinion matchup nightmares if you don't need hot route if you don't need like hot routes on a on a player um, especially a tight end i like matchup nightmare so much because it also not only adds catching like what it did last year but it also gives you better route running versus linebackers and most likely um if it is if it is a tight end that you're putting it on they're going up against linebackers almost every single snap so it's definitely a glitchy ability and it's only two ap on johnny so um, if you already have a field general, this is the ability I recommend on Johnny Smith, but, um, yeah, only gets Titan chems. Like I said, full go deep, full sprinter, but yeah, just hop right into it. I think Johnny Smith's going to absolutely ball out for us today, man. I'm going to try him on the beater. Don't worry. Um, I'm definitely going to try it. I want to see if he can actually beat defenses over the top with his speed and his deep route running. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. Here we go. That is his top three. He's got Sam Mills, Tyree Kill, and Lamar Jackson in that top three. And his name is Young Dagger 577. And there, there's our top three. We got Cole Pepper, McNabb, and I think that was DRC in that third slot. Um, my top three is always changing for some reason, but we are starting off today on defense. So um, I guess I'll see you boys on offense. All right, he's going to drop back now. We should have our spy ready to go. Can we get our sack? He's going to throw it up. We should pick this thing off. Pick it off, please. And we picked up by Deion Sanders. I'm not sure exactly what this guy's doing. We're going to try to dirtle it outside here. 
Um, wait, hold on. We actually might have something going here. Hold up. I don't even know why I tried the spin. I was just trying to get a little bit too creative right there. Johnny, we're going to try him on a corner route here. I think he's in man coverage. We're going to low ball this. Johnny was going to catch that. And what a weird animation. Um, that was Ed Reed on him. He would have had that easily. But EA had a had a uh, little glitchy animation in mind for Johnny. We're going to try that again, though. And that was also... Oh, that wasn't even outside the numbers, low key. All right, let's try that again. Johnny was going to catch it this time. Has the corner. We had the first time, too. We're going to try to swerve inside. Johnny breaks a tackle. And that's going to be a 44-yard gain for Jonu Smith after, I guess you would call that a drop. And he already left the game. All right, we're going to hop into uh, another game, I guess. Uh, game two. Game two. I'm not sure why that guy just quit after one Jonu Smith catch. Right, here we go. Game two. He's got Sam Mills, Ray Lewis, and Calais Campbell. And his name is Jay Carter 091116. All right, we're back in a pistol tight end here. And we're going to try to get Jonu Smith open here um, on this crosser route. And he should be wide open. I think he's yeah. He was his his man was was Ed Reed. He absolutely cooked him. And I think I'm pretty sure this guy does have a Ravens theme team. So that Ed Reed is probably faster than Jonu Smith is. But Jonu absolutely cooked him off the line right there. This is gonna go ahead and user him. And we absolutely cook his user off the line. We're gonna do a little stop and go. Oh no! I I, I tried to stop and go. Uh, he caught he caught himself. Uh, if that was literally any other player who was a little bit slower, I bet we actually have an easy TD right there with Jonu. But. Man, that was unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout. We're going to try to get Janu's energy back. Can we get it open? We should get it open. We should. Janu's going to go ahead come down with that. That's why I love big tight ends, man. They just box out the they just box out the corners animations. And that right there is an easy <laughs> first drive TD right there for Janu Smith. Let's go. And the middle of the field. About to get, okay, I'm, I'm actually happy with that. Oh, he tried to hurdle him. We got a fumble. Uh, why would he try to hurdle me? Spin that back. Hold up. Cut it up field. Okay. McCourty's gone. McCourty's the league's going to be gone. Um, now I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down here. I want to get a, uh, I want to see what Jonu can do here in the red zone, but, um, that was some pretty nifty, uh, I'm surprised I got out of that. That juke move was kind of nice right there from McCordy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm right, gonna try Jonu on the corner here. We should have Jonu on the corner route. Touchdown, Jonu Smith. Um, he had Ed Reed on him, and I'm guessing that, that was probably short route running right there. I'm um, against man coverage, 94 speed on a corner route. No one's guarding that. Maybe, maybe, maybe Charles Woodson. Maybe Charles Woodson, but anyone else. Uh, probably not, and that's an easy John U. Smith TD. Let's get it. He just pulled out a run call on fourth and goal. All right, we're gonna try throwing the beater here with Johnu. Kind of the last thing we gotta do to test out this John U. Smith card is try him on the beater. So, um, that is the plan. That is the plan. We're pulling out the beater right here. Here we go. Do we have Johnu? No way. We're actually gonna have him. No way. Johnu just burned Marlon Humphrey. All right, yo, Johnu just took the top off the whole defense and <laughs> just burned Marlon Humphrey. Wow. That's what that's that's what this card's doing, huh? That's what this card's doing. That's crazy, dude. Oh, it's actually a cover too. Hold up. Middle of the field, Johnu, please. No oh Johnu almost came down with that. Johnu actually almost came down with that. Alright, we're gonna go for this. No, I couldn't get it off. I don't think I had a chance anyway. Um we're turning that thing over on fourth down. I'm letting him back in the game, which is not a smart decision. This guy might be a demon. If there's another <laughs> there's a pick. I'm going to take that back myself, low-key. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crib this one time. Yes, sir. And uh, he's going to leave on that. Yo, uh, Jay Carter, GG's brother. Um, the connection to my peer has been lost. Um, if you do end up seeing this, man, good game, man. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the Jonu Smith gameplay. And after using this card, I think it's definitely safe to say that Jonu Smith, without question, is a top three, top two tight end in the game right now. I mean, he's the highest base speed tight end in the game right now. Um, hits the short routing threshold and with chems you can pick if you want to hit the mid or the deep routing threshold on this card so definitely has some flexibility um his run block's not the best but the fact that he is so fast and such a good receiver definitely makes up for the fact that he can't really run block that well um i mean 96 catching with go deep the card's very reliable and i also don't think this card's gonna phase out anytime soon i mean having 94 speed tight end um, is very rare i'm not sure what other tight ends they could drop maybe like an upgraded waller maybe the next gronk card Actually, the next Gronk card won't even probably have... He'll probably have 92, 93 speed on a theme team anyway. So, yeah, I'm not really too sure what other tight ends they could drop that are going to have, like, better or the same speed as Jonu in the upcoming future. We're going to have to see, though. Maybe an out of position Taysom Hill. That'd be pretty cool, out of position Taysom Hill. But, hey, you never know. Um, if you are still watching, though, let's comment... Let's comment the caterpillar emoji if you are still watching. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if the video helped you out or if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.